Hey guys, Ty here. So as you might know, the Valve Index has one of the most advanced controllers that there are on the market right now, with the ability to have real and present tracking every single finger, making the immersion much, much better. But these controllers, as we talked in the past, they always had a little flow with the thumbstick and also a little bit with the triggers. And well, it seems like Valve finally started to address this problem and fix it. So in the future, we're gonna be able to enjoy our Valve Index for real without thinking this is actually a ticking bomb that is gonna break in a matter of time. So let's see together how they actually fixed the biggest problem of the Valve Index and of course, what's the difference between the old version and the new version of the controllers that you're gonna receive. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you may know, if you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, well, the link in the description below, by the way, my left index controller broke recently. What was the problem? Well, the thumbstick, the left thumbstick, was getting stuck in the downward position. That means that even when physically it was going back to the neutral position in the middle, the software was still registering like it going down. And that, of course, was creating a problem in different games. It actually started with Boneworks, where sometime I wanted just to stay still to grab something. Instead, my character was starting to go back without any reason. And then, of course, was creating some discomfort and also a little motion sickness because when you move that you don't really want, well, that creates kind of motion sickness. So I started to try pretty much everything. I tried with the dead zones and of course that didn't help. I tried calibrating the thumbstick in a different way and that didn't help. I tried resetting the drivers and also unpairing, pairing. Well, I tried everything and nothing. Uh, seem to work. So I started, of course, to look at Reddit or some other communities around the index, of course, and I found out that many more people were having the same exact problem, a continuous drift with the controllers. Now, uh, bear in mind that I'm using these controllers since the very beginning. I actually made a video a long time ago about the problem that the thumbstick had before. Uh, some people weren't able to click the thumbstick in a certain position, so they weren't really able to run with the Valve Index. And even if uh, Valve never came out with a statement that was a problem, they always substituted for all the people through the support. And the fun thing is some people got five or six replacement already in six months that the index is actually out. And that's insane because if you're changing something for five, six times, that means that there's actually a flow in the hardware. But Valve, of course, never uh, said anything about it, but started to just keep in the support over and over. Then there were some uh, recent new rumors about the fact that Valve actually addressed uh, this problem for once, and that's why we're making this video, of course, to change something in their hardware to make the index controllers better, less prone to break in the future. And well, uh, so, of course, I had my broken one, and luckily I was lucky enough to have it in the right time. And what I received is actually a different controller from the one that I had before. It doesn't look that different if you look from a distance, but when you start to look at it a little better, you can see that the thumbstick is actually different from before. The stem itself is longer and thicker. So if there's a rule in this world, I think that it's a positive thing. And of course, it doesn't have all the problems that the first model had, uh, like the clicking in the different positions, for example. But what is actually the positive thing is that Valve did something. They didn't just change another controller for another controller with the same problem in the future, but they changed the design a little to make it better and more durable in the future. That's what we wanted. Now, of course, I just received these. I played some uh, Walking Dead, by the way, with this one, and I'm pretty content because it doesn't have any problem with drifting and stuff like that. And also, I'm able to click without any problem in every direction. But of course, I can tell you for durability if it's gonna be reliable enough or if it's gonna be reliable exactly as the old controller. For that, well, uh, I'm gonna update you in the future in case. Always tweet it there, by the way. And then another issue that this controller had were actually the triggers, where on the old model were kind of getting squeaky after a while. Mine never had that problem, but I read a lot of people having squeakiness 
in their triggers controller and well it seems like in this new model they actually changed that too where the trigger feels a little different than before with less resistance uh, if we can compare it it probably now more similar to what is the oculus rift one than what was the five wands one but i can tell you that probably they changed it to uh, address the other problem with these controllers because there were two major flows one was the thumbstick one the trigger and it seems like that this new model they actually address both to make these controllers finally more reliable now everything sounds positive and i was lucky enough to have my controllers break in the right moment but the problem is still there because most of the people they actually bought these controllers before their revision the version 1.5 of these controllers and they're still stuck with a ticking bomb because at the end of the day after some hours the bomb just uh, blew up well that is gonna happen probably to everybody because the old design it was just flawed and so we are in a weird position where you actually have to like hope that these controllers are gonna break so you can send them back uh, it's actually a kind of weird and i really hope that they're gonna address these for real this time because i'm really happy that they worked on something to make it better to make it more reliable hopefully they're more reliable of course uh, but still uh, most of the people that bought valve index they're still with the older version and they could have the same problem i had very soon well, what do you think about it? Do you think that Valve should put up the statement to actually say, hey, we change it. If you have the old model, please send it back so we can send you the new model and they can maybe like uh, reuse them and just change the thumbstick uh, in production again? Or do you think that they should just wait and keep going like they're doing? I don't know if it would be expected for a pair of controllers that are like $250 uh, to have such a support behind. It's great that they're always taken back and if you're able to change them like five or six times, mean that they are behind it. Uh, but yeah, some people then they had to wait a month or more for the replacement and that's just not the right thing, right? But yeah, let me know what you think about it. And the positive thing is that if you're buying an index right now, you know that at least Valve addressed the biggest problem that was actually the controllers and you should be fine for the future. At least we hope. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech, and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.